you know, I'm just going to uh, pad love with Pat's two cents. I was watching a few videos. I was watching some, some editorials online. Why are people so mean? Why are we so ugly and hateful? Why do we enjoy hurting people? I was looking at this article about a black guy that was that was incarcerated just waiting to, to have a hearing. And they sent him all the way to Rikers Island. And every time he tried to commit suicide for all the abuse and the 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 attacks and the beatings they punish him even more and then he comes out and by his i mean he was 16 by his 22nd birthday he's committing suicide because he can't get rid of the memories and the the the, the horrendous things they did to him and they probably it was guards and inmates why why do we do that what is it about the human nature that is so sick why doesn't the government put these guards through psychological screening they're putting psychos in these places it makes no sense to me then the system they really don't care about the young black kids so they leave them there and forget about them three years before he had a hearing then they dismissed the charges really what is up with that it almost looks like a systematic attempt to bring the the young people the what society calls minorities the 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 latinos the blacks and and some of the asians depending upon their background and their economical status what is it about what is god you talk about a genocide and you know what the bible says because iniquity will abound the love of many will wax cold what happened to the love you guys what happened to the love that should be naturally in our hearts i just don't understand why you take such not you but some of you who work in these settings how you can take such pleasure in hurting people how you can get your kicks in seeing a person shivering and in pain writhing in pain and because they're writhing in pain which is natural you beat them to make them stop writhing so you can torture them some more because it's fun to you It's amazing to me. I'm venting now, so just deal with it for a minute, please. It's amazing to me that God hasn't taken this world out sooner. It amazes me how many people have to hurt because somebody else wants to have some kicks. How many young men and young women have to be raped again and again and again they're not only being raped physically they're being raped psychologically they're, their lives are being raped and with the penal system oh well they just thought he took a backpack all of that torture for a backpack? There is something so sinister. Now you guys think it's just a human thing. But the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. There are demonic forces working 
in many of you and you don't even know it. You get a kick. You get a pleasure out of beating a woman and raping her and making her tell you that she likes it while she's whimpering for her next breath. Some of you get your kicks out of abusing little boys, sodomizing them till they bleed. What do you think that comes from? There are so many people in this world and some of, uh, some of them are you or you are some of them who are demonically possessed, just demon possessed. The days are going to get darker and darker. Don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. And I think one of the reasons for this is because of the slow cooking that's been going on where people are having their consciences, their, their, their conscience seared with a hot iron. They're, they're getting numb. They're getting to the point where they really don't care any only real excitement they get is in inflicting pain. That is cuckoo, demonic, satanic, evil, and sadistic. We are in the last days. And the only thing I say I almost don't want to say, God, have mercy on your soul. Because I know that after those demons get through using you to mess with other people's lives and killing some of them in the process, you are seriously going to have hell to pay. You don't see it now because you don't think there's a God. You think all we're going to do is sleep away and that's the end of that. But baby, when you get to hell, think about what you did to everybody that you have hurt and think about how much worse, how much more painful it's going to be for you. And that pain will never come to an end. Death will never kiss you and, be, and mercifully take you out of your misery. You will have to endure it throughout eternity Lord help this society help us as a people I don't know what is going on with the the ways that people like to hurt you got guards and inmates beating and raping and sodomizing and beating and throwing I mean starving not feeding up for a backpack. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, this place, this thing we call earth here, yeah, this is a precursor to hell. Because all of you people who are doing the torturing are presenting the preview of what hell is going to be like. But instead of the people you're torturing going to hell, you're going there. I just, I never could understand. I watched my landlord beat up on my landlady. And, and she'd cover up for him. She'd walk around with an iris puffed with blood. After he beat her down, and, I mean, fist and feet. A woman fixed him a, a five-course meal after working all day. And having to walk home and climb the stairs to the subway and catch buses and walk and walk and walk. Being on her feet all day, legs covered with varicose veins. And this poop butt of a husband driving around, never once offering to give her a ride when it was raining, snowing, cold, or whatever. No, she had to fend for herself, but she got her behind. What? What is it about people? I, I, I am, I am, I ask God to help me. Because sometimes I feel a hatred rising in me. Because I can't understand how you can enjoy that kind of stuff. 
how you can beat on somebody who's defenseless. You want to fight? Go get in the ring with a professional boxer. Get your behind whooped a few times. I don't get it. I don't. Oh, I'm going to shut up because I can go on and on. This could be a 10-hour video. That's how upset it makes me to see people playing with other people's lives, playing them away through torture. 